Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we are continuing with water resources. My example for today is uh, about Darcy's Law. Before we move forward, as always, I want to remind you about the two free resources that I have. Number one, if you are at the beginning of your journey and you're just starting out and trying to evaluate your education in the United States of America, I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. You'll find the link to download this free guide underneath this video, as well as if you start, if you're trying to start your uh, studying and uh, you don't know where to start, I have a suggestion for you. I have put together a free guide or a free resource. It's about shear moment diagram and I have solved problems and I have a few problems that are there for you to solve them. Again, the link for this resource is underneath this video. Click it and you'll be able to download it for free. Now let's move on with our example about Darcy's Law. For the apparatus shown in the figure, the volume of water collected at the outlet during a time interval of 40 minutes is five centimeter cubes. The locations A, B, C, and D are marked with their elevations in centimeters with respect to a common datum. Assume that reservoirs A and D have constant surface elevation. What is the permeability of the soil? What is the permeability of the soil? And it's asking us in centimeters per uh, hour. So when you hear about permeability of the soil, this automatically has to direct you to, because Darcy's law deals with soil permeability. Let's go to a fee handbook and we will type Darcy. And here it is. The formula is uh, Q, which is discharge rate, equals to minus K. K is the hydraulic conductivity times A, cross-sectional area of flow, times DH over DX. And DH over DX, I will explain it in our problem what it is equal to. So let's go and write this formula down. Uh, so notice how the problem is asking us what is the permeability of the soil, which if you look at the formula, Darcy's law, it doesn't say anywhere, but you should know permeability of the soil is this K, which in FE handbook is called hydraulic conductivity, and it's also called permeability of the soil. This is what we have to calculate. So from this formula, let's figure out what we have and what we need to calculate. So first off, we can easily calculate the area. The area of this tube over here, we're given, the tube is two centimeter diameter and it's inclined. Okay, this information we don't need for the area. So the tube has two centimeter diameter. Area equals to pi d squared over four. And this is pi, we have two centimeters squared over four. And this gives us an area of 3.14 centimeters squared. Okay, now, Let's go to dH over dx. So dH is actually the difference in elevation and it's going to be 180 minus 80. So we have 100 centimeters. And dx is the length of the soil sample. So we have to calculate it from here. We know the elevation here is 70 and in here is 40, which means that this distance is going to be 30. And we also know that this tube is inclined at 40 degree to horizontal, meaning this angle over here is 40 degree. So let's calculate then I will write down dx, 
we can apply, we'll do sine 40 equals to 30 centimeters over dx. And from here, dx equals to 30 centimeters over sine 40 and equals to, let me use my calculator, 40 sine and 30. We have 4667. So dx equals 4667 centimeters to 4667 centimeters. And now we will right away do dh over dx equals to 100 over 4667. And this is going to give us 2.143. All right. Now we have the age over the X, we have A and Q equals to five centimeters cube within in an interval of 40 minutes. And let's transform this into uh, centimeters cube per hour. This is what the problem is asking us to calculate the permeability of the soil in centimeter cube per hour. One hour has 60 minutes. And this means that our Q, the discharge, equals to 0 0.125 multiplied by 60. And we get the discharge is equal to total of 7.5 centimeter cubes per hour. And let's move forward and calculate the permeability of the soil from this main formula, Darcy's equation. So our permeability, it's going to be equal to the discharge over area times dH over dx. And this equals to 7.5 centimeters cube per hour over the area is 314 times dh over dx, which is 2.143. And so 7.5, 314. 2143 multiplied, 7.5 divided by that. So we get 1.1145 centimeters per hour. And this is our answer. Looking at the results, 1.11, the correct answer is C, 1.12 centimeters per hour. And this is our permeability. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like because this helps people like you find me. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments section below. As always, keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.